underbelly. But mom. But what? They come for me when it's dark. Honey, nobody is coming for you. I'll leave the door open a crack, okay? stay here. Why not? You remember those night terrors that we used to have? What, when we were kids? It's just a power surge from the storm. No, it's not. You had night terrors as a kid, right? Well, we we're wondering if... What? If you've had any recent night terrors. Us too. I've been studying Billy's diary. Now, don't you think it's possible that something that scared us as kids has come back? to collect us. Listen to me. You hear a baby crying, you hear a kid crying, you keep moving, okay? Children can sense them, it's your warning. They grabbed me in my apartment. They tried to get me. Drink this. Okay, take a few deep breaths. You'll be asleep soon. Sleep? I'm not gonna go to sleep. Honey, you need to go to sleep. I can't go to sleep! Watching today is they. Now it's produced by Wes Craven, written by Brandon William Hood, directed by Robert Harmon. Uh, starring Sherry Lauren Reagan, which is the main character, which is. Oh, she was an unbreakable. Hi. You're in the emergency room in the Philadelphia City Hospital. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Where were you sitting on the train? against the window. In the passenger car? Yes. You're certain you were in the passenger car? Yeah. Where are the other passengers? Your train derailed took a curve too fast. A second train collided with yours after it derailed. The debris spread over one mile. Why are you looking at me like that? There are two reasons why I'm looking at you like this. One, because it seems you are the only survivor of this train wreck. And two, you don't have a scratch on you. I know what's going through your mind right now. You're searching for meaning in all of this. No one thing. 131 people died so you could finally understand the destiny for which you were born. Are you ready for the truth?
Um, Mark, Mark Lucas, which was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the military guy in the in uh, the Buffy universe. Ethan Embrys, which he was in Can Hardly Wait. So other, so many movies in the early nineties, two thousands. Da Mana Tomishkish, edited by Chris Pap. DP Rene Rene Oashi ASC CSC Effects Special Effects Patrick Taupulas. Now this director is known for Gotti. Nowhere to run with Van Damme, which I saw. I never I think I saw Gotti a long time ago in the Hitcher, the original one. Canon. The big name in movie entertainment presents a special preview of some of the great films coming to you on video soon. Heading west on the long, lonely highway, only his dreams for company. Until... My mother told me never to do this. Before many miles, he'll wish he'd taken his mom's advice. When Jim Halsey let the hitcher into his car, he opened the doors of hell. What do you want? I want you to stop me. Once you've met the Hitcher, you'll never pick up another. My wallet's in my pocket. Shut up! We know how to do it. Jesus! Why are you doing this to me? You're a smart kid. I'll figure it out. I didn't do it. I didn't do any of it. I'm not a killer. This morning, this guy tried to kill me. He's been following me ever since. Salt shaker? No. I don't believe this. E.T. took it. Okay. He did. He was here. I heard him. When? Last night. E.T.'s make believe, honey. He is not. He was here, Mom. Mookie, you've got to stop making things up. I'm not. You are. Please stop it. Yeah, the shit doesn't hinder me. Just somehow, like, fucking. Swish! Alright, figure out how to get around the stupid cord. Show us longer. 
It is long, like 10 feet. Huh. Oh, they have, oh, whatever. They have the shit in front. On the top. All the way in the fucking back of the computer they have. Why does, where the fuck does Apple and every computer have all their shit in the back? Do like TVs, have the shit on the side. On the fucking side. Especially if you have a desk facing a wall. Alright. Um now that you've seen the trailer. It's a pretty good um pretty good movie. It takes place with um well what it's about is this particular character, I forget her name. And a group of kids, uh, oh, people like in their in their twenties, have night terrors, and they were marked earlier on. And after a certain time, what they mark, they want back. So it starts off with one kid showing how the process goes, and then it's it's all with four characters. Not a bad little horror film. The ending just don't make any sense. Don't make a lick of sense. Not the ending, but right before the ending. Because these creatures only lurk during the night. So, yeah, that's a big plot hole right there. So you just wanted to roll. You just wanted to accomplish something in the ending. You'll see when you see his film, if you see his film. Now, this was the best deal at Paradise Con. Um... Everything is overpriced. And this is like the one a business of Florida con. So <coughs> Um pretty much this is the best deal. A buck a movie. I got like six movies. I got six bucks. That's all I bought. And food. A prof a yogurt profit and maybe like and I just smuggled food in. Gotta smuggle. So expensive. Uh, anyhow, it's a good movie. Now, this movie, the way it's set up, I don't know why the fuck Scream got a fucking movie. This could have easily made a great fucking, I mean, why Scream got a fucking series when they had done all that they had to do within the first two movies. Part three and four were unnecessary. But tapping into franchises, so, yeah, there's only so much you can do with cell phones. So, I think this could have got, this could have easily, there's enough material here to have a sequel. Well, not a sequel, but sequels kill it, but, um, a series. This could have been a fucking series. This whole, this thing could have been a series. Wes Craven, why don't you tap into this shit? Because it didn't do as well as you thought it would do, or you thought it probably didn't do well. The indie, indie film. But not too indie, because it's Dimension Films. Focus features. Hmm. See some of the quotes. Terrifying. Don't see it alone. Terror filled. They must see. One of the most terrifying endings in, re in recent memory. Yeah. The extras are an alternate ending and I guess like a trailer. No, it's alternate ending. Ah, oh, this is the easy. The <laughs> This is the shortest uh, review I've ever done. Well, Arla Cruz out. Oh, by the way, it's the weekend, so. I was playing this, the hell out of this. Picked it up for $39 at Target. This and Watch Dogs 2. Please don't tell me Watch Dogs 2 is, is garbage like the first one. Driving. I'm playing this. And before I forget, this one will go in my collection. For the gaff, uh, the mistake last weekend, we'll see some Chuck Berry, some Johnny B. Good.
Rest in peace, Chuck Berry. You'll be missed. I know it's not convince you with my monotone voice. My monotone voice. I'm just sick. So I don't have the usual energy I, us I usually do. So, um, the next film, Peak. <laughs> I bought this during the holidays. And I, I don't know about you guys, but these digital HD. I don't really care about this shit. Throw them away. That's why there's Netflix. Hollywood, we're not gonna fucking have a collection of these things. It's just Netflix, man. Netflix. Hulu. It's on your phone, it's on your laptop. I know Hollywood trying to be remain relevant, but no. Fuck you, Hollywood, alright? Fuck you, we already bought your movies. I don't know, I'd rather just have a fucking. Uh, these things on me. And I'm, I'm just old school that way. So that's the next film. Crimson Peak. Guillermo del Toro, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a treat. The um, camera lens is closed. Alright? Peace. Fuck you guys. Kidding. Saturday. Well, I'm a lot of kids.